Hello, everyone, and welcome to a series of videos where we'll be taking a look at the use of uh, Refinitiv Icon and how to get started with using Refinitiv Icon to gather data for uh, some piece of research projects that you might be doing. Um, okay, so first up, I guess a small bit of a, a, a rider. Uh, at the moment, I'm inside an SETU in the SETU computing environment, and um, that might make things and make things look and feel a little bit different uh, to where you might be, um, and uh, there might be different issues around, say, what kind of device you're on, uh, whether it be a laptop, and what kind of operating system you're using, and also where you're located with regard to connectivity. Um, I understand that the Refinitiv Icon package is relatively robust, so I don't think that these things are going to provide too many challenges for you. So, okay, in this particular video, then, I want to take a look at how you get how you get up and going in Refinitiv Icon, and then we'll build on this in subsequent videos. Right, then, to get ourselves going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. Uh, Go and you should see. Well, that's my uh, uh, that's my uh, browser screen. And uh, what I'm going to put in here to get ourselves running is Refinitiv, Refinitiv icon. Yikes! And there's login, Refinitiv icon login. Just do a search for that. Uh, it usually pops up. Yeah, there. This is what comes up. But it's pretty obvious what this is. I'll go to hit this guy. Okay, so I'm then presented with this kind of screen, and this is really where you want to get to, uh, from the from the get go. Um, I've got two options. I can either sign in and download, or I can sign in here. Now, there's a difference between which one you pick. Um, this is the web access. So this allows you to interrogate Refinitiv Icon to the browser and it looks great and there's uh, no issues with that. Um, but it's probably not as good from a functionality perspective if you're trying to gather large amounts of data. So that's why I'm gonna come in through here. And what if I come in through here, what this will automatically uh, download for me is it will download a number of add-ins uh, for uh, various Microsoft Office tools, in particular Excel, and then I can then go into the Excel environment and interrogate the Refinitiv Icon database directly through Excel and download large amounts of data into Excel itself. And we will have a look at how that works in the next video. But in this video, we're gonna have a look at how you get to this point. Okay, so I'm gonna hit sign in and download, if it does it for me. Uh, okay, so uh, you will have uh, been provided with a series of um, user IDs and there's a password to go with them. And uh, you pick one of those and pick the appropriate password and then you hit sign in. Now you, you may hit see, and quite often you will, you will see you are already signed in to Refinitiv products elsewhere. So effectively what that's telling me is that somebody else possibly uh, is using this particular login code elsewhere. And the likelihood is that they're not, they just uh, haven't already signed out. Um, Cause we have a number of codes uh, and what can happen are a number of login uh, uh, codes. So I think we've got five and it may be that somebody else is using this, this particular one. It's highly unlikely. Um, if not, if you're concerned, just go to number two and number three and number four, and you might find that you get a similar uh, warning. Anyway, I'm just going to sign in. That kicks the other person out. If you find yourself being in and out, uh, kicked in and out a couple of times around, well, then you'll know what the, what the issue is. I'll hit accept. Um, I'm going to go down here and give them my uh, country location. And I'm going to, then, then I'm going to go to the download option rather than the uh, web access. I then, uh, it then downloads a uh, little, uh, little widget for me. Uh, when that's finished downloading, it's, uh, I think it is finished. Oh no, it's not quite there yet. Um, oh yeah, it's there now. I'll hit the open file. And then it brings me to this. Okay, so you can see it's now installing. Um, and here we go, welcome to Icon. It goes through a couple of checks and back and forths. Um, and this can take a little bit of time depending on uh, kind of how you put your, what device you're using and what kind of free space. Now it does, and I say, I'm, you know, you might get a couple of warnings. I just hit continue. All the uh, cyber guys will be getting a bit excited, but uh, anyway, uh, the news. Uh, so, and then you get some. Uh, this is just a, 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 I suppose, a, a series, bit of marketing just to keep you occupied while the uh, package is uh, uploading and getting itself sorted. Um, so, just bear with it while it's uh, doing its work. Now, 
Now, while that's going doing its work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my Excel. Um, so you can see my Excel here. Uh, I, and the only reason I'm showing you this is so that you can just see what the top uh, set of tabs have. Uh, you, it's your kind of standard file, home, insert, page, and so on. There's nothing unusual up there, just so that you can see that. I'm going to come back out of that. It's still going through. It's nearly there. Oh, it's been in. It's been installed. It then gives me a start product, and I'm going to start the product, and it goes to another little piece, and then it looks me to log in again, and icon dot no, icon dot student. Sorry, icon student at wit dot ie, and then the password. I'm going to sign in. I'm now being told that I'm already signed in elsewhere. In fact, I'm, it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't recognize that I'm actually signed in on this computer as well, uh, albeit to a different uh, package. I'm just going to sign in. And here we go. And this, so this shouldn't take too long. And you can already see that it's starting to appear up here on the on the top screen. It just takes, don't worry, this is it's still working away in the background. And it's nearly there. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. It's showing me various workspaces up here. I'm not uh, just sort of I'm not I'm not uh, uh, okay, Windows has blocked some features. Okay. Um, but what's popping up now, by the way, are what are called workspaces. They're attached to this particular uh, login code. I put those together myself on a piece of work that I was doing a while back. You can see it's a it's a number of um, uh, banks, Bank of Ireland, AIB, Credit Agricole, and um, uh, Lloyd's Banking Group, Apropro, nothing. That's just I mean, that's just what's that's just what popped up. Uh, you can change these around at will and have, you know, it just looks good, I guess. Um, but it's all it, it really doesn't uh, have any particular relevance for, for, for what we're doing today. Um, what I want to do is I want to look at Excel. Now you can see I'm still back here in the uh, origin, my original Excel. I'm going to close out this version of Excel and then I'm going to open it up again. And it'll just take a little bit of time for it to cycle through its uh, usual kind of startups. And uh, just give it a minute. And once it pops up, we should now see the Refinitive Icon tab uh, at the top of the Excel uh, list of tabs. And I can already see that it's already picked it up. It's just kind of running through its startup um, piece here. Shouldn't take too long. There we are. I'm going to go like this. And uh, I'm going to increase it. So you can see Refinitive Icon in up here is one of our tabs. That means that it's effectively downloaded uh, an add-in to pop into Excel and it comes up like this. Uh, you can actually see it if you wish. Um, it's, if you go down into options, uh, it goes and you go across to add-ins when, when it does it for me. Yeah, you can see there there's an, an active application add-in Refinitive Icon. You shouldn't, you shouldn't even have to do that, but if it doesn't come up automatically, you might see it down in their inactive application add-ins. Okay, so I go into Refinitive Icon. I now need to sign in. It goes through the connecting process. I may be asked again for another uh, login uh, code. And there we are, we're now in. Okay, you can see that the minute you're in, uh, it's, it goes to online and we see an additional list of um, items here. Okay, so that's as far as I'm gonna take it with respect. So now we're good to go. And what, that's what I look at in, in subsequent videos. Um, what I wanna do now though, is I want to just get rid of that. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna close out all these windows. That's all my, and I'm back here now in, well, let, let's go right back to the start. Unfortunately, my um, get rid of that guy, and I'm back here now. Refinitive icon login. Go to hit the Refinitive icon. It should pop up. It's just a little bit slow running through now for some reason.
Here we go. Now I'm going to sign in using the web access. Okay, icon student one, WIT, the password. I'll hit the sign in. I'll probably be told that I'm signed in elsewhere because I'm not signed in through my uh, Excel uh, uh, piece. I'll hit the sign in. So this is just to show you what it looks like when you log in through the um, to the through the web access uh, approach, um, and you're given you know you get what's effectively a news page and a little piece over on the right on equities. Um, you've got various uh, options here that you can hit, and you can just use these at, uh, um, as you wish. Um, maybe just to show you some of what can come up, and um, you can then look for uh, let's just look for a particular company, Microsoft. Okay, so um, I'll. Yeah. I just pick them off the top of my head. Uh, and what you want is you want the, this is what it all runs off. It runs off these kind of codes. MSFT is the standard code from Microsoft. And what it does when you hit that, then it pulls up a whole load of information, too much, in fact, probably about uh, Microsoft. And the, but the, I suppose the issue with this is that you're looking at kind of individual companies rather than uh, on team companies at the, at the one time. You can go into the price piece, can look at some of this takes a little bit slow it's, it's a little bit slow let's look at the chart it might be a little bit quicker um so here you have the, the price chart for you know this is pretty standard stuff i think for um uh, for any if you, you can even get this on and, and yahoo finance but you can you can change the 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 time horizon you have got loads of different options that, that you can overlay onto the chart and you can download the underlying data as well too um you could, you've also got, uh, you can look at their uh, ESG um, credentials. And uh, up pops another nice little piece. And you've got a, a you know, so there's various different other pieces. It, it's just taken a little bit of time to cycle through everything. And um, you can look at uh, their peer analysis. Oh, I should have had a bit more patience. So you can see um, there, there's various scorings attached. So Microsoft are ranked number three, there's Infosys, and then you've got um, uh, SAP underneath and they have a nice little map if you wanna see that. You can go into, you can, most of these have a, have a click through option that you can go in and you can then see, okay, where does the, the Microsoft, this is the bit that I shut down very quickly there earlier on. Oh, it didn't let me, I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll go back to here. Um, and you can look up, uh, kind of, there are various valuation models that you can interrogate as well too. There's a, a relative valuation model, there's an intrinsic valuation model, different, you know, you can go in and you can have a look at, you can kind of, I suppose, drill in through these uh, at, your, at your leisure, but it kind of gives you a sense of what's available on the, um, on the, on, on the web platform. A whole raft of information, it takes a little bit of time obviously to, you can see that it is cycling through to gather up the data. It can take a little bit of time for it to filter through. That's just largely, I suppose, um, a connectivity and how many people are using the the, the service at any one time. Um, but you know, uh, and you you can you, you can most of the time over here on the right hand side, if you see there's an Excel little piece here. If you click that, then it will take all this information and just do it in short, and it should bring it across into Excel. and I'll open the file. So you've got the kind of the raw data that underpins what we were just, uh, what we were just looking at there. Um, but it's, uh, I suppose it's not as necessarily as, um, uh, it doesn't have that great kind of functionality. If you were looking to do anything different, that's why um, we tend to go in if we're trying to gather data through the, uh, the X, the Excel functionality. And that's what I'm going to look at in the in the next video. So I'm going to stop my shared hair. So all we looked at is we looked at the two different approaches as how to get into Refinitiv Icon. One via the um, the, the download uh, piece and the other then via the web access. The download installation allows you to use Refinitiv Icon in Excel, whereas web functionality is you're just browsing through and using a web browser um, you can suck out some data on the web browser piece but actually if you're trying to use uh, Refinitiv to gather large amounts of data you need to go in through the Excel functionality and that's what I'm going to look at in the next uh, next video that we look at.
So we shall sign off there and see you next.